Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about music management inside of Emacs and specifically about a package called Bongo. I have been using this package for the last three months or so, which constitutes the majority of my time as an Emacs user. And I must say that I am very satisfied with the results because it has allowed me to simplify my life with regard to the task of managing and playing music on my computer. What I want to do here is show you the basics of the workflow that I have for playing music and uh, I believe this is also a good example, a real-world scenario of how we can use Emacs to achieve an integrated computing experience which is another way of saying to achieve a simpler computing experience, a simpler and better. So let me switch to my Emacs window over here. Uh, I already have a screen key playing, so you can see my key presses at the lower part of the screen. Let's start with the basics of Bongo, and then I will switch to the ELISP over here and uh, talk a bit about it. MX and then Bongo. It will take you to a Bongo buffer. Bongo uh, has everything, displays everything in a buffer. This is uh, perfectly aligned with uh, the Emacs way of uh, presenting information to the user. Everything is basically a buffer. There are two types of buffers in Bongo. One is the playlist, as you can see over here. And the other one, if you hit H, it, you will hop to the other uh, buffer, which is the library. The library is the buffer that, con that contains your media files from where you can manage them, manage them and uh, view them. And the playlist, so with H we are at the playlist, is the buffer that contains the items that you have in line to be played. So your playback queue. Personally, I think that this library over here, the default Bongo library, is not particularly useful. I prefer to use the directory editor, the built-in directory editor, Dired, to use this as my both the file manager, ma the file manager, which it is a great file manager, but also to manage my music playback. So I will show you this right away. There is a function called Dired Jump, D Red Jump, Dired Jump, and I, I assign this to a key binding, of course, Control X, Control uh, J or super and j and what this does this is universal in emacs super and j will always take you to the directory that contains the buffer at point uh, and in this case this directory is my music directory so this is great i am at the music directory this is the directory editor i have lots of videos on the matter check my backlog and now if you see over here at the uh, mode line, I have also a minor mode when I am in this directory and all of its children, which is to work as a directory editor the way it normally works, but also to have some extra functionality for the purposes of Bongo. Let's see it in practice. If I am uh, over an item and I press space, this is something that I have configured, it will add this to the playlist and start playing music. Because I am in a directory that contains a subdirectory and then some files, it will add uh, uh, files recursively. So for example, this one over here, I have lots of uh, files you can see in different directories. But if I, if I am here and press space, it will add all of them to the playlist. Let's see it right away see that it start playing. I don't want it to actually play anything uh, but you can see it over here in action. If I press L I can focus the currently playing track. I can use uh, P and then to move uh, to the previous or the next item or standard Emacs motions or the arrow keys or the mouse. So you have the freedom uh, to do whatever you want. Control H M will provide you information about the major mode of the buffer you are in, as well as the minor modes that you have enabled. What you want to do with Control HM is to have a look at the key bindings and the functions that they invoke. 
So you can check this, I don't want to bother you, but basically you can use this to uh, manage your playlist and things of that nature. Let's close this and let's go back to Dired for a minute. We can, as I said, if I am over an item and I hit space, it will add the media files to the playlist buffer. If it is like this, it will add them recursively, uh, whereas if it is like this right away, it will just add the files right away. What you can do is you can also mark some files. So I want to mark these two. And now if I hit space, for example, I am here, it will not add Paco de Lucia. It will instead add Marisa and Vangelis, so the marked items. Let's do it. It added that as well. We can check right away. They are over here. Uh, where it actually adds them is where your point last was. So if you are at the end and you go at the end of the buffer and you go and add files, it will add them uh, over here and then further below. Personally, I don't really care about this because I don't spend much time over here. I have it so that when I add music, it starts playing and there is a random playback order. So I never actually check this buffer. If I come to this buffer, it's because I want to clear uh, all of its contents. Control D, very simple. So now there is no music, this is an empty buffer. And then I can go back to my um, directory editor and select some items to add to my music, uh, to my playlist. Let's do this again, but with files. So I have, I want to just listen to those three files. I hit space after marking them. And now these will be uh, the files that will be uh, in the playlist. We see it over here. You can hear it in this play. I don't want it to actually play. Uh, and then we can clear it again and jump back to the directory editor. So as I said, this is a standard directory editor. This is a dear ed, as you say, dired in one word. And you can do everything you would expect to do. You can uh, rename files, you can uh, copy them, delete them. You know, the standard stuff that you can do with a file manager. But also it is bongo aware because of some extra stuff that I have added to it. And this is the basics of my workflow. If you hit H, it will now take you uh, hop between the library and the playlist. So very simple. And that's the basics of my workflow with regard to music. Uh, I want to now go back to uh, this package declaration for Bongo and explain a few things a bit. Um, of course, I have a very simple uh, interface. I disable all of the graphical stuff. I don't really care about it. I don't care about images inside of my playlist uh, buffer. I don't care about uh, the length of the tracks. I don't. The simpler, the better. Because, as I said, I just add some music and then forget about it. It is playing in the background. That's the one thing. The other thing is that I am using VLC as a backend. You actually need a separate program to play music. There are lots of available options like MPV and VLC. I am using VLC and the reason for this is because uh, VLC has integration with the protocol called, uh, not integration, implements a protocol called MPRIS, MPRIS, I don't know how you would pronounce it. But basically this protocol is a standard that uh, many music and media playing uh, uh, programs implement that allows you to uh, interface with VLC from another program that controls MPRIS applications. And I use this because it's very simple. The program in point, specifically, it's in this case, player control, like this, player control. And you can use player control. For example, if I do player control and then uh, play, if I have music, it will start playing. And player control is great because you can use it to control all of your Empress aware applications. So not just VLC, maybe you have something playing in your browser, maybe you have something in some other uh, program, the GNOME podcasts application, for example, whatever it is, you can control it all from uh, player control. And that's why I'm using VLC.
basically that's the reason but if your needs are different you can use a different program no problem no stress that's very easy uh, next up uh, this is the function that actually uh, uses the directory editor to add files to the playlist and this one is the magic uh, sauce if you will uh, this one is uh, basically if you are in a music directory and any of its uh, subdirectories add the bongo dired library mode to it so a minor mode that provides this functionality that i just mentioned for dired to function as a library and then i have this one is what erases the playlist as i showed very simple stop the playback and uh, remove all the items and this one is also very simple it's basically add stuff to the playlist play a random item and uh, turn on the random playback mode and those are the basics of it there is not much uh, to it it's very simple once you get to see it in action and uh, but the power of it is integration so i have as i said dired jump let's go dired jump let's find it somewhere else so you see that dired jump is provided by another package dired x and i have dired jump as i said this is universal it works everywhere and then it also uses uh, what i have for uh, dired of course the subtree i already showed that in action uh, in this case I didn't show the others that I have here but I could so all these all these are available inside of my media library buffer which is my music directory all of the all of the integration that I have here with Dired all of the configurations that I have are available to Bongo for my convenience so I can use the music uh, directory as an, any other directory but also for the purposes of music management as I just showed and uh, that's all for now folks that's the very basics of it of course this is just a very specific use case of how you can use Emacs to achieve integration but obviously it is not the only one for example there are others you can use it for your email you can use it for your calendaring and all sorts of stuff with org mode or with other applications that can interface with org mode and things of that nature but that's uh, a topic for another video or a series of videos anyhow that's all for now folks thank you very much for your attention goodbye